Hi and welcome back to class of design of machine elements. I am Hitesh Rayani, assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is lecture 18, examples in pressure vessels. The learning outcomes of this lecture is to learn the design of thin pressure vessel subjected to internal pressure. So in this lecture we learn two problems based on the thin cylindrical pressure vessel subjected to internal pressure. So let's consider first example that is given a thin cylindrical pressure vessel of 1.2 m 2 meter diameter generates the steam at a pressure of 1.75 Newton per mm square. So here the thin cylindrical pressure vessel is given and diameter of a pressure vessel is given 1.2 meters and the pressure inside the pressure vessels is given that is 1.75 Newton per mm square uh, and find the minimum hull thickness where if A is the longitudinal stress does not exceed 28 megapascal. So here we have to find the wall thickness. Condition is given if A longitudinal stress does not exceed 28 megapascal. So here longitudinal stress means sigma T2 that is 28 megapascal and B the circumferential stress does not exceed uh, 42 megapascal. So here circumferential stress is given and that value is 42 megapascals or you know that it is nothing but the boot stress. So in this examples we have to find the minimum hall thickness uh, by considering the longitudinal stress 28 megapascals and second case by considering the circumferential stress or boot stress 42 megapascals. So first we collect the data given in the problems. So data given in these problems is B is the diameter of the pressure vessel that is 1.2 meters. If we convert in mm that is 1200 mm. P pressure intensity is given that is 1.75 Newton per mm square. Sigma T2 is the longitudinal stress that is 28 megapascals or you can say 28 Newton per mm square. And Sigma T1 is given that is 42 megapascals that is uh, converted into newton per mm square that is 42 uh, newton per mm square. So here we have a value of sigma t1 and t sigma t2 and pressure intensity p is 1.75. We have to calculate the thickness uh, by two cases, case 1, case a and case b. So consider case a that is when the longitudinal stress sigma t2 does not exceed 28 megapascal. So here we have to consider the longitudinal stress sigma t2. So sigma we know the equations of sigma t2 that is the longitudinal stress that is p into d divided by 4t or what is our m? Our m is to find the thickness of the cylindrical cell when the longitudinal stress is 28 megapascal. Uh, so in this case, if we uh, consider uh, the equations of sigma t2 is equal to p d by 4 t, so we can uh, convert into in terms in t is equal to p into d divided by 4 into sigma t2. So in this uh, equations of thickness, here p is the 1.75 pressure intensity, d is the 1200 mm diameter of pressure vessels and sigma t2 is the longitudinal stress that is 28 newton per mm square. So by placing this all value we can get the uh, value of thickness according to the 28 megapascals longitudinal stress and we get the answer 18.75 says the 20 mm. So in a first case the, according to the longitudinal stress 28 megapascals the thickness of pressure vessel is 20 mm. Now the case 2 is, uh, the case B is uh, when the circumferential stress sigma T1 does not exist 42 megapascal. Here uh, we have to use the equation of sigma T1 and we know the equations of sigma T1 that is <coughs> PD divided by 2T. 
So if we uh, simplified that uh, t is equal to p d divided by 2 into sigma t1. So in this case p is 1.75, uh, d is 1200 and sigma t1 instead of here, here we have to use the circumferential stress. So sigma t1 is equal to uh, 42 mega pascal. So if we place all this value, we get the thickness of this uh, pressure vessel according to the circumferential stress 42 mega pascal and that is equal to 25 mm. So in first problems, we calculate the thickness of pressure vessels according to the longitudinal stress as well as the circumferential stress. Now consider the second example that is given. A thin cylindrical pressure vessel of 500 mm diameter is subjected to an internal pressure of 2 Newton per mm square. Here also thin cylindrical pressure vessel is given and diameter of pressure vessel is given 500 mm and it is subjected to internal pressure of 2 Newton per mm square. So P is 2 Newton per mm square. If the thickness of vessel is 20 mm, here the thickness of pressure vessel is given, so it is T is equal to 20 mm. We have to find, find the hoop stress, longitudinal stress and the maximum shear stress. So in this case we have to find hoop stress that is sigma T1, longitudinal stress that is sigma T2 and also we have to find the maximum shear stress that is tau max. So in previous examples, uh, uh, longitudinal stress and hoop stress is given and, and according to thickness is calculated, uh, we have to calculate it. And in this example, the thickness of pressure vessel is given and we have to calculate the stress produced according to this pressure vessel. Now first we consider the hoop stress. <coughs> Sorry. So given data is D is equal to 500 mm, P is 2 Newton per mm square and E is 20 mm. Now first consider the whole stress. As we know the whole stress is the T sigma T1 and sigma T1 is equal to P into D divided by 2T. So sigma T1 we have to calculate and for that we have to place the value of P, D and T. And all this value is given in problem. P is considered as 2 Newton per mm square. D is 500 mm. And T is the thickness of pressure vessel that is 20 mm. So if we place all this value, we get the sigma T1 is equal to 25 Newton per mm square. Now second, we have to calculate the longitudinal stress that is uh, uh, sigma T2. So longitudinal stress sigma T2 we know that that is the PD divided by 4T and we have all this value P, D and T. So by placing this all value we get the uh, sigma T2 that is the longitudinal stress that is equal to 12.5 Newton per mm square. And from equations we can say that the uh, uh, hoop stress is the price of longitudinal stress and we can see in our answer that is hoop stress is price of longitudinal stress. Now next is we have to find the maximum shear stress. So as we know the maximum shear stress is the algebraic difference of maximum and minimum principal stress. So now in this case uh, Sigma T1 that is the hoop stress is the maximum principal stress and uh, uh, Sigma T2 that is the longitudinal stress that is the minimum principal stress. So as we know that uh, from hoop stress and longitudinal stress, hoop stress is greater than uh, longitudinal stress. So we have to consider the maximum principal stress uh, is the hoop stress and minimum principal stress is longitudinal stress to calculate the maximum shear stress. Now according to maximum shear stress theory, we know the uh, maximum shear stress the, uh, theory uh, tau max is equal to algebraic difference uh, of this uh, maximum principal stress and minimum principal stress and half of this difference. So tau max is equal to sigma t1 minus sigma t2 divided by 2. So here sigma t1 that is the maximum principal stress and sigma t2 that is the minimum principal stress 
and we calculate this both value in previous slide so we can place this both value to calculate the tau max so by placing the value of sigma t1 that is 25 newton per mm square and sigma t2 that is 12.5 newton per mm square divided by 2 we get the tau max is equal to 6.25 newton per mm square so we get the maximum shear stress according to the given configurations and that is equal to the 6.25 newton per mm square that is the our third answer so in this lecture we learn the design problems based on the cylindrical thin pressure vessel subjected to internal pressure so you can use the uh, roof stress and longitudinal stress whenever you have to design the pressure vessel thanks Thank <laughs> you.